The secret to a long life, live in the right place or be wealthy. Next on your Labour Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. In a recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, researchers found that the top earning 1% of men outlive the bottom 1% by 15 years. And for women, that gap narrows to 10 years. And rather than improving over time, the gap in lifespans between rich and poor has actually widened since 2001. Of note, when the study looked at where Americans call home, it discovered that the poorest among us, living in major cities like New York and Los Angeles, had the effect of nearly equalizing lifespans with those of our middle-class neighbors. Yet in other parts of the country, like Las Vegas or Gary, Indiana, adults with lowest incomes die as young as people in some of the poorest nations on the planet, like Rwanda. The study found that in some places, small-scale localized policies to help the poor adopt and maintain healthier habits may extend their lives regardless of income. The lead author of the study, Roz Chetty, a Stanford economist, said, you want to think of this as a problem at a more local level than you might have before. So the question for public health officials now becomes, what strategies might help low-income earners live longer? According to the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Thomas R. Friedman, he said there was a very strong correlation between income and lifespan, but it is not inevitable. There are things that we can do to change the life trajectory of people, including access to social, educational, and economic opportunity. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.